Alright guys, welcome to another beer review and uh, today we're delving into some more Polish craft beer and we are revisiting the, uh, I always forget how to pronounce the name properly, the Brova Stumosa, which I think is the Bridge Brewery, if you were to translate it. And uh, the first time I had one of their beers, and the only time I had one of their beers up to this point, was their collaboration with Campbell Bavaria which was like a wheat doppelbock IPA or something insane like that and uh, yeah it was really interesting stuff actually so uh, this of course comes from the um, beer 52 oh, nearly smashed a glass there, story of my life uh, this came from beer 52's Poland box which uh, if you're interested by any of these beers um, from beer 52 I've got my referral link down below so you can get yourself a nice little bonus and of course um, it helps me out but also if you're just interested I'm going to put the link down below as well because I think they're doing an absolutely terrific job and um, they actually because um, I was initially going to skip this box because of yeah because I'm spending a little bit too much and that sort of stuff and I had so much beer coming in but uh, then even though it's off camera because it's up there on the wall um, they actually sent me a little postcard with like greetings from Poland and then on the back of it they were like saying oh you could get the box for £10 cheaper so I opted to buy it give it a go because I was actually running out of pale beers to drink and it was just stouts and strong ales and all that sort of stuff and uh, thankfully the box came with quite a few pale ales and IPAs and plus it's Polish craft beer which um, it's really quite hard to get hold of for the most part. I know it, it sometimes trickles in through Brewdog and then through some web shops and that sort of stuff but we actually don't really have uh, from what I can gather at this point um, like a good like distributor here in the UK for Polish craft beer. So uh, yeah I think it's great and hopefully this opens up opportunities for Poland uh, which has got such a, from what I can see, from what I've read, heard, and you name it, has such a fruitful craft beer history and scene at the moment. So, uh, yeah, I thought, yeah, let's give it a go. And uh, I've had a couple of the beers from the box so far, and they've been pretty damn good. So, uh, yeah, so this is the Salamander Wheat Porter, which is clocking in at... 4.8% ABV. Uh, this is pasteurized and unfiltered, completely stored in a cool dark place. Uh, ingredients are water, barley malt, wheat, oat flakes, hop and yeast. And then, yeah, not too much more information on there. Of course, uh, lots of Polish, as you would expect. But uh, yeah, a wheat porter. Uh, it sounds interesting. Uh, I do like the, the artwork on these uh, uh Mostov labels. Apologies about that. I'll probably make loads of mistakes on these uh, Polish reviews. Yeah, it's got that sort of like abstract look to it, but it it works. And then you've got a lovely crown as well. So, I was going to have a quick look in the uh, ferment magazine that comes with Beer 52 just to get an idea about the beer, but I think I'm going to surprise myself now. So, I don't think I've ever had a porter and a wheat beer hybrid, which I'm imagining this would be, but we shall see. So, I'm pouring a beer into the glass, and it's certainly pouring like a, a porter. In fact, it looks a little bit paler, so do you know what it's reminding me of? It's reminding me of a Dunkelweiss. Yeah, like a, a dark wheat beer from Germany. Um, but yeah, now you actually pour it in the glass, uh, it does actually look quite dark, so it does still look like a porter. It's got that sort of like lovely dark coffee look to it, with a nice tan coloured head. Uh, you really can't see through that at all. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure how well you'd be able to see it. Well, it, it is distributed now within the rest of the beer, but there was like a lining of gunk at the bottom. So I'd imagine once the rest of the beer's in, the appearance might change even more. But um, yeah, it certainly looks like what you'd expect for a porter. 
to look like, but it still has that sort of like Dunkel Life Beer look to it. But anyway, let's see what we get on the nose. It smells like a, a Dunkel Weiss. A Dunkel Weissen. You get that like banana clove bubble gum, but then you get that roasty, sort of like porter, chocolate, caramel sort of aroma, and it works really well. But the savoury edge of those wheat beers are coming through a little bit more, so it has that sort of like banana bread, but at the same time it's got like a, a Hefeweizen aroma to it. Yeah, it smells interesting, nice and deserty. It's nice and gentle, actually. So, uh, yeah, let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. It's sort of like what you'd expect something called a wheat porter to taste like. Getting loads of clove on the back end to the point where it's like drying out my tongue almost. So you get this lovely soft pillowy bubblegum, banana sweet flavour, the sweet roastiness of a porter, a little bit of like a chocolate, yeah, ice cream syrup sort of character. Gentle coffee tones. But then you get this almost like Belgian yeasty spicy note coming through as well. Primarily on the the front end of the beer. It works, but I'm just gonna put a disclaimer out there. It's not my kind of beer. Do you know what I mean? It's not something that I would gravitate towards on a regular basis. So let's pour the rest in there. See if that changes the beer much. And you can't really see, you can see like little bits and bobs floating around in there. Not sure how well that'll pick up on my crappy iPhone camera. But um, yeah, it's definitely gone a little bit bolder. Okay, now that smells like a Dunkel Weiss. So maybe is that what they're trying to go for here? But then when you taste it initially, you get like the wheat aspect and then you get the porter aspect. And I don't know what that hand gesture was, but I'll stop doing it. But um, let's give it another taste. Okay, now it just tastes more like a porter. It's a little bit smoother that clawing edge that I was getting initially grained in a little getting like vanilla custard almost coming through the body's not the boldest but it's not thin but it's also got this sort of like grainy edge to it yeah I don't know about this beer um, it's definitely a well brewed beer and well executed. It's just not really the sort of beer that I really want to drink a lot of, do you know what I mean? And like I was saying, I wouldn't go out of my way to pick up a bottle of this. I mean, if you saw it on the shelf and you've never had a Polish craft beer and it's like, oh, Polish craft beer, you'd pick it up uh, because it's intriguing, it's something new and you want to see what's going on. Um, with the you know, country like Poland, which has some absolutely amazing looking beer festivals. It's definitely a place that I want to check out. Plus, you know, the traditional like lager brewing side of things. Some interesting beers. Um, I don't want to name them, just in case they're not actually Polish, because you do sometimes get muddled up. But uh, yeah, Poland's got a really rich brewing history and a really exciting craft beer scene. 
become really sticky on my lips now. There's so much going on with this beer, but it's drinkable. Do you know, it's like easy drinkable, not like, oh, the way you have to pick out every tiny little aspect of it. It all works together. It's just not my thing, so I can't really give it too much of a, a low mark just because of that. So objectively, I could happily give this one a 7 out of 10. But in terms of my enjoyment factor, it's getting a six and a half. But this is one of those beers that you will either absolutely love or just not really be too keen on. And I can't imagine too many people going, it's a horrible beer. It's not one of those beers. It's just for me personally, not doing much for me, not ticking too many boxes. But you know what? I'm really glad to try another beer from these guys, really glad to try another Polish beer, and I've got one of their Double Dry Hops, Double IPAs uh, to review as well, so I'm very excited to uh, check that one out. It'll be interesting to see uh, what the, how they deal with that sort of beer, even though I've kind of experienced it with the, um, the collaboration they did with Camber. But no, seriously, it's a really well-brewed beer, it's getting like a tiny little bit of bitter drinking chocolate now as well so yeah there's a lot there but as complex as it is it's a really simple easy drinking beer so yeah six and a half out of ten for me personally but um like i said some people would absolutely fall head over heels with this one because it's something new it's a little bit different i've not tasted a beer like this to be fair to it it's reminds you of different styles coming together and what you might imagine those styles to be like once incorporated together. So it's really intelligent brewing. It's just not my cup of tea, but I can't hold too much against it. Do you know, it's one of those weird beers where you don't really rate it amazingly high, but at the same time, you sort of feel guilty because you haven't, even though it would completely go against your like scoring system. Even though I do that quite a lot anyway. But uh, yeah, it's really, it's actually, it's not alcohol, but I'm getting like a warming filling sensation now. So, but you know, that heaviness that I feel from wheat beers is definitely coming through. But um, yeah, this would be perfect sort of like if you were to drink this in the same way as a Doppelbock. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it's got a little bit of a meal aspect to it. And it would make a damn interesting gravy, that's for sure. So yeah, if you've tried this beer, then let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. If you've tried anything else from the brewery, then of course, uh, thoughts, opinions, recommendations, suggestions, always welcome. Um, if any of my friends and fellow beer tubers have reviewed this one, their links are going to be down below. And like I said, check out Beer 52. If any of the beers that uh, have tickled you from my Beer 52 experience over the past few months, then feel free to use that referral link down below. Get yourself a nice little discount on your first box. And uh, yeah, I think Beer 52 is doing a really fantastic job. And uh, the next box, I believe, which by the time you've probably seen a few of the beers that I've reviewed because my scheduling with videos is absolutely terrible, will be Summer Bangers. So, uh, yeah, I don't think I'll need to buy too many pale beers in the next few weeks. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I shall hopefully see you all later. Big